Today we'll be making chocolate truffles. We're going to start with our ingredients here. We're going to have dark chocolate uh, for confectionery coating. Then we have a little bit of chewy coconut. I've measured out uh, about a fourth to a third of a cup of the chocolate into a bowl. And we're going to melt it in this smaller bowl here. Got parchment paper. That's what these molds are going to go on to once they've got the shell in them. They'll be flipped over and placed on the parchment paper. So I've got 22 molds. A little bit of Bailey's. That'll be the filling along with maraschino cherries. So the, I have two types of truffles. One is maraschino cherries with Bailey's and the other is coconut with Bailey's. Alright, so I've just microwaved the chocolate chips for about 20 seconds in the microwave. They didn't melt and that's to be expected. So I'm going to just stir them around and put them back in the microwave for another 20 seconds. So I'm going to repeat this process. until it's a little bit lumpy and creamy. The heat of the glass from the arc wave. I'm going to put a little bit in each of the molds. So the amount here is just enough so that when we swirl the chocolate around, it'll coat the outside of the mold. We've got 11 uh, molds in this, in this die. I'm going to fill each one of them with maybe a Less than a teaspoon, I would say, maybe a half teaspoon of. And the the trick here is to do it while the chocolate's hot, because we're gonna do all of them and then flip this over and let it coat the outside of the mold. This will be the shell of the truffle. I'm using my my knife to spoon or to use the knife surface to get a little bit of the chocolate into the mold and kind of control how much is going in at a time. So the more chocolate you have in here, the thicker the shell is going to be. And you always want to have a little extra mold, extra molds compared to the amount of chocolate you're doing because if you have too much chocolate and not enough molds then you'll have wasted a bunch of your chocolate. So I'm, I'm going to do 11 here and this was with a third So now the, so we used a third of the chocolate chips, and now we're just gonna swirl this around and coat the outside of the cat of the mold. It doesn't have to go all the way to the, uh, what will end up being the bottom of the truffle, because we're gonna flip this over and it'll sit on the parchment paper, and that'll be how we make our, our molds. So now I'm gonna use the other half of this, the other 20, the other 11, molds and probably fill this up. Maybe I won't I might not get all eleven filled, but that's fine. The other thing I'm trying to avoid is spilling truffles chocolate on between the molds, because that'll obviously be wasted chocolate. And eventually I'm gonna have to work my way down to a spatula here and get all the, the chocolate out. So I'm going to switch over from a knife to a spatula. So I won't be able to fill up all 22 molds, I just used, I'm a few short, but that's not a big deal. I wanted to have less chocolate than I have molds, that's kind of my goal. Let me just finish this off by spooning it in there. And we'll use this, this chocolate for the interior of the 
the, the filling of the truffle, so it's not a big deal that I'm leaving a little bit in the measuring cup. But again, I'm going to swirl this around, just try and get a little bit of even coating going, start it out, and then flip it over onto the uh, parchment paper. I filled this one a little bit too much. I'm going to truffle surgery here. Flip it over. Alright, call it good. Alright, so I've microwaved another one third cup of the chocolate chips. I've done it for 20 seconds a few times. I'm getting towards a, a very liquid consistency, so I'm breaking down the chocolate chips just by stirring after heating the glass. So, again, not overheating the chocolate. The other thing I've done is I've heated a little bit of Bailey's. This is maybe uh, a tablespoon or less. And basically, I'm going to heat that again because I want it to be about the same temperature as the chocolate chips that I'm melting. And this is going to form the filling. I'm going to put this uh, Bailey's in the chocolate chips and they'll be the same temperature so that when I put them together, I don't freeze the chocolate. So the trick here is if the Bailey's is cold, because Bailey's is kept in the refrigerator, then I'm going to take a look at this. See my, my chocolate is frozen, so it's solidifying very quickly. So I just have to make sure that I mix it into a nice even temperature. So I don't want to, I don't want it to get solid. I'm going to keep stirring it. Alright, so now we're going to take this filling and use it in the inside of the chocolates as the, the truffles. So we're going to take their molds, which have dried out a little bit. And we're going to fill them up with uh, coconut and maraschino cherry, which I've cut a few maraschino cherries over here. Now that the shells are cool and solid, and we have our mixture, we're going to place our uh, treat inside the truffle. So here I have half of a maraschino cherry, uh, already pre-cut. Place a couple of those inside. The other ingredient I'm going to use is a little bit of chewy coconut. So I'll make a little ball out of that and place it inside the truffle. So you want to leave enough room inside your truffle that you'll be able to fill it with some uh, a little bit of filling and, and then put a cap on top. So basically there's a three step process. You have the shell and then once that's cooled you place your filling, that's step number two, and then after you've got all your in, the inside of your truffle filled you put a cap on top. So this is a Pretty straightforward process as long as you have the ingredients and the tools. The tools being the, the mold and the ingredients being the, the truffles chocolate. So I'm, I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, empty space on, on top of my interior so that I can pour the cap on top of this. Now that's what's going to seal up the truffle. So you don't want to fill them too full. And cut. So I've taken about a quarter cup of the chocolate chips in a new fresh bowl because I didn't want to cross contaminate this with the alcohol. It has an effect on the consistency obviously. So what I've done is I've microwaved this 20 seconds at a time and stirred repeatedly after each iteration to get it into a melted state. And now what I'm going to do is pour that over the uh, the interior of the chocolate and this will form the, the bottom of our truffle. So this is a three step process. This is now in the third step of capping the truffle. So first we did the shell and then we filled it with uh, either maraschino cherries or a coconut and then we're now capping off the truffle. And we want to have enough chocolate in there so that it really seals up the inside of the of the chocolate. So this will be a problem if you've got your truffles a little bit too full, like I do. I've got a little too much truffle filling, and therefore I'm going to have the caps be a little bit larger than I would otherwise normally. 
And again, you don't want to microwave too much of the truffles chocolate for the cap. You can always add a little bit more. You don't want to end up with too much melted truffles chocolate at the end of your process. Otherwise, you have to eat all of it by itself, which is not quite as good as a regular truffle. I'm just going to go around and fill. I've got about 22, or almost 22 truffles here. And that was based on a initially a, a third cup of chips for the shell. And then I did another probably quarter cup for the filling with the Baileys and the coconut. And I've got maybe another quarter cup of chocolate for the caps. So if need be, I'll make a little bit more for the caps. I'm going to do it in small increments. Uh, ready. Alright, so the last step for the truffles is we're going to put them in the freezer for about 20 minutes. What this is going to do is make them easier to pop out of the mold when they're cold. We're going to put them in there. We've got our caps on. They're complete. And we'll throw them in. Don't forget to take them out of the freezer. Final step after we've taken the mold out of the freezer, should have been there in the freezer at least half an hour, we just simply flip it over and pop the chocolate into the container that we're going to store them in. That's our final set of truffles, coconut and cherries.